using the beauty of agriculture to transition back to civilian life. A group of veterans is learning how to farm, sustain their own food, and start their own businesses. How about that? Tonight in our RBC Wealth Management Voice for Veterans segment, WMAR 2 News' Eddie Kadem shows us how the VA is now giving veterans a chance at a farm fresh start. Hands in soil, their minds are free. Being out here working with nature, um, it's really been a healing factor for me. United States Navy veteran Brittany Davis comes from a family of American heroes. Joining the service was a given. Knowing the correct ratio for soil and how to identify weed versus sprout, not so much. We planted this and it just keeps coming back. And it's one of the things I think people like about Telmar because you don't find this variety. And it's not even a spinach. It's part of the Brassica family. But once you plant it, keeps on producing. Kate Murphy is the founder and CEO of Talmar, which stands for Therapeutic Alternatives of Maryland. When one works in the soil, when one works in the earth, out in nature, especially in this beautiful farm, uh, we get to be kind of in solace with ourselves. We are able to um, deflect and reflect on our lives, but there's no pressure. Veterans come and learn everything from building and maintaining a field to applying for a grant. The skills that they did have, um, maybe they've lost somewhat along the way, but this has helped them regain those skills. This program runs in three separate sessions. The students you're seeing here are part of the extended program. That means that they are doing individual projects that will stay on the farm meaning that they're leaving their mark while learning these lifelong skills. You feel a sense of accomplishment uh, knowing, you know, you started with nothing and then to be able to go through all the work to prepare the fields for planting, to planting, to harvest, and then being able to uh, donate the food to give back, it's just a very rewarding experience. The VA of Maryland got a $260,000 grant this year for the program. Part of it, a stipend of more than $50,000 for the veterans as they transition back into civilian life. This, this has helped veterans to remain engaged in treatment. Um, sometimes veterans um, don't want to go to a hospital, but this is something that they can come, they can relate to, they enjoy, and they will stay connected to our program. That connection was hard to find for U.S. Marine Corps veteran Jennifer McGowan. She got laid off eight months after she got home. She wanted to go back in, but couldn't because of a slipped disc. I love Surrey, um, and then that wasn't possible. So I had a hard time finding my place. A life uprooted, gaining ground every day. I also um, have an eight-year-old, so learning about, you know, um, how to grow fruits and vegetables and be able to bond with my son over that also. There's lots of things we could do, and it's changed my eating habits and uh, thinking about you know, his as well. The best part of coming to the farm, seeing the people and the plants grow together. And we're also you know, all dealing with you know, our own issues, you know, and this uh, really helps. At the Talmar Farms in Hampton, Eddie Catum, WMAR 2 News.